Now we want to show the steps to create the most important organizational structures of the SAP system. And without a doubt, uh, the most important one is uh, for financial accounting is the company code. This is a complex structure and SAP has decided that we cannot create this one, this one from scratch. Therefore, we always need to select the template that the system will use uh, just to copy all the settings. And then, of course, our work is to go through all of them and change the values for some of these settings that must be different in the new company code. Even if we have a completely new customer that has never used the ERP system before, eh, well, we can still create new company codes because SAP delivers the full templates that we can use for the creation process. And well, this is a highly automated process, but it still takes some time, especially because this is such a complex, complex structure. So, well, let's just start the process. And for this, we will open the customizing menu. So, as you know, we have to uh, open here tools customizing implementation guide and here we have execute project so let's just start the SPRO transaction of course um, this then will just show this intermediate screen but right now we won't do anything here so let's just uh, click on SAP reference IMG and now we're back in the uh, customizing menu so well uh, as you know well uh, we want just to create a new um, company code uh, and this is an organization structure so that is the reason we don't need to open financial accounting uh, it's not necessary actually we need to come here to the top and just open the enterprise structure menu and of course uh, we will now just uh, to open definition it's it's the section to create uh, so we want to create a, a company code so let's just open financial accounting and here we have a well, edit, copy, delete, check company code, which is the transaction we just want to run right now to start the creation process. So let's uh, just do that. And now the system will just show um, the select activity pop up uh, in which it shows just a list of two lines uh, with the two main activities for the process of creation. Right now, we haven't define anything new we just want to start with the creation process and for that let's just uh, double click the first line because this is the activity to copy delete check a, a company code or we can just click once and then just come here at the bottom and click choose At first, the system just shows this screen, which uh, we initially say like, okay, it's empty. We probably something is broken. We cannot do anything here, but that is not correct. That is not true. Um, uh, this is just because we have a, a lot of icons here, and these are the main activities we can carry out. Actually, the second one, as you can see, is uh, well, is the one that will allow us to copy one existing company code, one existing co uh, organizational object to create our new uh, uh, object, our new company code. Actually, as you can see in the tooltip help, we can just also press F6, and that will have the same effect. So let's just, uh, well, we have already clicked on this one. And of course, um, we have two fields. Uh, the first one is just saying from company code. The second one is uh, well, saying to company code. And of course, as you can just imagine, uh, in the first one, we need to enter the ID for um, the template and then the ID for the new company code. Now, uh, what's important just to, to mention here is that um, any ID in the system is important because, as you know, uh, it's all. I mean, it also has like technical consequences in the database. But what's important here is that every time we create an organizational structure, we need to set up a, a valid a identification. So for the company code, what you need to consider is that um, it could be a, just a, up to four digits, and the minimum is just one. And it's alphanumeric, so that just means that we can have uh, just numbers or just uh, letters, or actually it could be just a mix. It, it could be uh, some of the digits could be numbers, some of the digits could be letters. So well, um, this is really important because again, as we have been saying, every uh, after we create this, like uh, next next in the next uh, uh, activities that we will run in all of the next. <laughs> Uh, lessons and of course in the real world uh, every time uh, for example uh, an end user creates a document a financial accounting document uh, well uh, the system will just say okay give me 
or specify what is the ID of this company code because everything uh, has to be linked to it. So, well, um, first, actually, well, we'll just uh, enter the ID of an existing uh, template that we have in this uh, server. So, let's just enter that one. And then we will uh, enter the ID again, as we were saying, of our new company code. So, well, let's type it. And well, uh, let's start the process uh, uh, for the creation. So let's just click continue. And well, at first, uh, the system will just uh, show up this pop-up message saying that uh, well, that the original company code already has a link to it, a, a um, chart of accounts. And uh, that chart of accounts, we have so many accounts on that one. So it's just saying, do you want to copy the GL account company code data uh, from the template to your uh, new company code? And uh, well, there are multiple scenarios, of course, uh, in which in some of those scenarios we could say, yes, uh, I want to create, uh, just copy everything, especially if it's uh, in the same country and overall uh, the, the new company code has the same uh, in the real world, like the same uh, business segment, the, the, some uh, very similar uh, even taxing accounts, for example, because it's in the same country. Uh, that is just a good example just to say yes. But what's also true, it's maybe we are creating like a, a new company code and uh, this is a very uh, big uh, cor corporate group and maybe they want to set up like a new company code for something that has almost no relationship to to uh, the operation, the business transactions in our company codes. So that uh, could uh, be a reason just to say no to this question because we don't want to copy everything. But right now, actually, we want to copy. <laughs> so let's just click yes. And now, well, uh, uh, what is uh, here, uh, which also is really important, is that uh, it's because it's a bit different, is that now the system will ask uh, about the controlling area. Uh, if you have experience in the CP system, especially like coming from, from the previous years, uh, and you have created uh, company codes before, you haven't seen this probably, because this is just something uh, in the S400 releases, because as we know, FI and CO now are uh, more, uh, they are more tied together than than uh, than before. So, um, the system is just saying, I detected that the template is already linked to controlling area A triple zero. Do you want the same assignment for your new company code? So, do you want this new company code to be assigned uh, also to the controlling area A triple zero? For this, the, the, I mean, the answer will just select yes. In this scenario, is what we want. Again, there might be some other scenarios in which we might say no, I don't want this. But well. Uh, this will just trigger the system to show the last uh, important here uh, question uh, and it's really important because it's about the local currency so again uh, at the top is just a bit uh, like a quick explanation saying okay the original template the reference company code has a local currency which is euros um, uh, you could you you could uh, allocate a different uh, uh, currency for the new company code but actually that is the question do you want to allocate like a different local currency or you want the same uh, if we say yes that would mean that we don't want euros we want a different currency but that is not the case for our example so we'll just go and press uh, uh, decide no here uh, then, but well, this is just like the last, and it's an information message. It's just saying, okay, um, some uh, settings uh, will not be copied. Some even maybe some assignments. For example, maybe a, an assignment to uh, for funds management to the to the FM area. Uh, those some of that, that is just an example. But some other settings actually are not copied. Uh, some data is not copied. But I mean, just an information message, and we are okay with it, of course. So let's just uh, click continue. And as you can see at the bottom, uh, you know, in the um, um, status bar in the in the system, we have these messages. And actually, right now, it's just uh, showing even the the. Uh, the progress uh, just using this percentage um, uh, because it has started copying but uh, it's also important sometimes this percentage it goes up to 90 99 and sometimes it's uh, reset but that is normal it's not 
that it's uh, something wrong. Uh, it's just because there are so many things that the system is copying right now. I, and especially, of course, uh, I am referring to copying some entries and customizing that uh, have relationship with other application modules, for example. Uh, all of this, everything is just being copied. So that is the reason sometimes it might go uh, uh, like it go uh, or might reset. But well, right now, as you can see, just quickly reset. And well, um, after that, uh, the, the system will just uh, ask if uh, we want to confirm. So yes, we can just copy. And now uh, the system will just show this message. Again, it's an information message about the number ranges that they are not transported. So this is just an information message. Let's just click continue. Okay, and with that, then uh, well, the system, as you can see, is just confirming that everything was copied correctly from the template, the TACUC in this scenario, copied to the SETI uh, company code here for us. So, well, that is perfect, that is great. We can just close this uh, success message uh, by clicking continue. And now we know that uh, the copy uh, process was just successful. So, we can just quit this. And the system will just take it, take us back to the IMG, but actually with the pop up uh, pop up for the next uh, activity. Actually, as you can see, there's another change that is important here is because we have a the first line. It already has like a green check mark saying that we have finished correctly that activity. Uh, the next activity is just to uh, edit some of the company code data, and as we have been saying, that is something. Uh, we still need to do we want to, or we need to go through the data that was copied and modify accordingly but that is something that will come uh, uh, just and we'll show that in the next lesson so of course we want just to thank you and invite you to, to check this uh, next lesson in which we'll go through some of the uh, settings that the first settings that we you will modify for a copied uh, company code that we are just uh, creating right now so well I'll uh, thank you again